Well, this thumb's no better. Oh, got the sweat dripping off. Had to turn the fan on, so you probably can't hear. Anyway, got to weld it up. Here's the top part of the stove, the funnel. Uh, <clears throat> be a great on the the white end there for direct grilling. Lay your pot on, whatever. Uh, it'll be welded up here to the top. Got a six by six, six inch gap here. These angles are all were cut at 30 degrees. Uh, of course, all done on the CNC plasma table. Uh, can't remember. That might be uh, 14 gauge. Probably a little light. But I wanted to kind of do a test run. Uh, haven't decided yet. I might probably be safe. What I'm going to do is uh, probably weld some like a half inch rod all the way around here. So this slide fits over and slides down over that. And if I want to take it off uh, for another attachment or. Uh, <coughs> You know, I, I got, got a big pot, and I don't think it'll, if you set it on there, it's going to shut the airflow off, so that might be the, make it a lot more versatile. If this is too light, uh, I can cut it out of some 3 16ths or quarter inch. If this is quarter inch wall pipe here, this thing is going to be pretty heavy. Uh, anyway, got the feed tube welded on. And of course everything is too hot to touch here, so anyway, the next step here is uh, get some one inch angle iron and uh, I need to cut three pieces for the bottom here and then this little help with what will hold the the ash door on and I need to uh, cut some rebar or pipe or uh, I don't have some real heavy expanded metal well I've got some but expensive as that stuff is uh, and plus it'll eventually burn out so anyway we'll uh, get on to that looks like we're just gonna have a bunch of two and three uh, minute videos on this as I go. Uh, like I say, unless I figure out a program to merge them together, make it a little bit more enjoyable. Because I probably won't get a whole lot more done tonight. My shirt's soaking wet here. No, it really ain't that, that hot, but it must be a, a little more on the humid side compared to what we're nor uh, used to, uh, we're usually pretty low in the afternoon. This time of day, it's uh, in the single digits. But it's a little bit of cloud cover. So. Anyway, that's where we're at, and we'll kind of give updates as we go on here. Uh, yeah, let's say the, the other design that I had in mind, because see, there would be a warming. Uh, uh, piece of quarter inch that goes around to make a, a shelf here, a kind of a warming shelf or uh, I guess to cook, uh, uh, the, the other guy was cooking some potatoes on there, uh, baked potatoes. Thought that was a, a neat idea, you cook breakfast, you can set your coffee down there, keep the cup hot, the cup hot. <laughs> anyway, I thought if I welded in a, a uh, make this more J-shaped, I don't know, a four inch piece here. It'll move the burn chamber back a little bit and, and, and give them a little more heat down here, down low for uh, those types of uh, foods. So, uh, well, till the next one. Bye.